Criticism is pouring in on President-elect Donald Trump's choice of Steve Bannon as chief strategist. The fact that Republicans have been silenced on Bannon's appointment is a disturbing sign. Bannon's Breitbart News website is a favorite of extremists and white nationalists. Team Trump defends him. This is a very balanced, very sensible, very smart man. I look forward to having a discussion with the whoever they appoint in the administration. President Obama declined to weigh in on Bannon, but he is giving the president-elect some advice on how to heal a divided nation. How he uh, signals his interest uh, in their issues or concerns, uh, I think those are the kinds of uh, things that can set a tone. Including reports that Steve Mnuchin, Mr. Trump's campaign finance chair, is being considered as Treasury Secretary. A lot of hard work going on upstairs. Conservative radio host Laura Ingram as Press Secretary, and Rudy Giuliani and former UN Ambassador John Bolton as Secretary of State. I won't be Attorney General. He won't be Attorney General. So good, I won't have to decide that one, okay. thank God. I made that clear. So I can escape, I can escape that one. Insiders say the Trump transition is ahead of schedule. And NBC has also now learned that the transition is asking whether the three oldest Trump children, who, as you know, are very close advisors to their father, might be able to get security clearance before the inauguration. After the inauguration, Trump can grant clearance to anyone he wants. Before the inauguration, they'd have to get the okay, and that's unusual. Uh, Tracy, let's go back to the, uh, the, the appointments yesterday. Of course, they've garnered so much uh, uh, attention over the last uh, 48 hours or so. Clearly, those two, chief of staff and chief strategist, didn't require any Senate approval. Is there any grounds to these theories that we might see retaliation from the Senate with those appointments in the cabinet that do require Senate approval, uh, that they'll try and block some other appointments because they're dissatisfied with the chief strategist appointment? Well, we haven't seen that level of backlash yet from the Republican Party, and that's what you just heard from the, the Democrat in our piece, saying that we're not hearing Republicans who are in charge of the Senate speak out. Certainly, you may hear that from Democrats uh, in the Senate, but from the Republican Party, not a lot of uh, pushback on this, at least not as yet. And Tracy, timeline for the big appointments, when do we expect them? Well, Secretary of State is one uh, that we mentioned. We could see that one possibly by the end of the week. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.